Hello, I'm MC Toon, the worst rapper in the world. I have a very special, special show for you today. We are going to be exposing Mark Steele. Now, if you don't know who Mark Steele is, he is a anti-5G uh, scammer. He scams people. He lies to people about 5G. Um, he doesn't know anything about 5G. So... Uh, or radio frequencies or any of that kind of stuff. So if you are unfamiliar with him, you might want to go to my website at mctune.net slash Mark Steele. No spaces, uh, no dashes, just M-A-R-K-S-T-E-E-L-E. -E -E. Um, I have with me a friend from, um, I know from Facebook, who is quite familiar with um, electronics and radio frequency things. His name is Chris. And let's see, I think you're currently muted, Chris. Hi, MC, how you doing? There, I'm great. Um, so I did invite Mark to to join. And and uh, I'll, show, I'll show people uh, the invitation email I sent. It was very polite. I said, I'm gonna do a live stream. Uh, today, right now, 10, 10 p.m. UK time, I'm going to expose some of your garbage. Um, I said, you're invited to join. This isn't a debate. Uh, you'll have a chance to respond and have a conversation. I give you my word, I won't mute you as long as you hold a civil conversation, unlike your previous appearance. Now, he has been on my channel before where he was extremely rude, called lots of names, and uh, made lots of claims, and never once had any evidence. So there you go. That was the nice email I sent to him, and I got some pretty vulgar responses to it. So um, unsurprising from Mark Steele. So now what has happened is he has put in a uh, put out several videos um, talking about some. Uh, see, he thinks that 5G is a phased array weapons system. It's not. Um, He's very confused about it. Uh, part of the reason is, of course, that he doesn't know anything about electronics. Um, and I see Chris has put on sunglasses, uh, which is one thing that, <laughs> that oh, one thing if, if like, like like attracts like. It could be. I mean, he still has Mark. You, you can pop in anytime you want here. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to let's see. I need to get the um, oh, where did that go to? I have um, I have some sound bites for him. Chris's volume is very low. This okay. I got I got him turned up. Don't worry about it. I got um, the mic getting here. Is that any better, guys? I turned it up there f too. So I think I think you're good. So um, Chris, why don't you tell you tell just a little bit about yourself? Uh, whatever whatever's good, just so that people know where you're coming from when you talk. Okay. Um, my name's Chris. I live in the UK. Um, can't say exactly where. Um, I've been a, a consultant, um, well, still am a consultant to various branches of the um, UK government in the, the fields of uh, encryption, data technology, communications, uh, things like that. Um, working on interestingly long metal tubes that lurk under the sea, shall we say? Um, all right. Well, uh, so let's get on to it here. Thank you for that uh, introduction, there, Chris. So can't necessarily say everything but uh, we understand that so I have a little video um, that he put out just today now I've been planning we've been planning this for longer than today but this this particular video has has basically has the has full blackout bingo for everything we're we're showing yeah I, can uh, I can't see this so, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Talk, uh, when when Mark is on uh, live streams, he wears sunglasses, and you can tell he can't see a dang thing. So uh, this here, he's talking about this uh, radio frequency directed energy weapons, RF dues and effects. Now he he only shows this little intro of this document. I found the document. It talks about uh, the actual power needed, which is one thing that he doesn't understand. Uh, the power needed for this type of a thing is about is over 100 megawatts that's 100 million watts um, he doesn't cover that for some reason so anyway uh, let's see now there is this this bigger news though let me find this here he's where he's talking about this I think I'll 
pop along to right about here. And he's talking. Oh, gee, is. You can hear him. Because it directs energy. Now, yeah, we've got your, your enable attack target document from Huawei. Beam forming target correlation to track and illuminate. So this is a document that was leaked to him from, he says, a whistleblower. Just so you know. Eliminate the target with the configured beam formed lobe. That a target. You get it? It's all the way from Huawei, from China. Now he's saying Huawei, it's Huawei, is what uh, a lot of people say. Just so you know how we, what, what it is that he's talking about. Chinese whistleblower. Still got the Dalton Thomases. This is the document here. You see who that is. All right. Configure beam forming power. That is 5G. All right. <laughs> see it there? 5G. Under the cursor there. All right. And what it actually states there, clearly, maximum level for the attack. Maximum level for the attack. All right. Some people think this is just, you know, not correct. But let's just show you. With good reason. Some of the levels of radiation that this thing can pump out. You see? Now, I saw this when it came out. I had no idea what it was. <clears throat> and uh, I looked at and he has a screenshot of it as well. And uh, I'm like, oh, that's, that's very strange. There are some interesting things that I saw in here. One of the things that I was very curious about was the pass key. Now, it's hard to see on here, uh, but the pass key is very very long there's here's a zoom in of it that i did look at this here look at how long that default pass key is it's incredibly long i even cropped it here for you look at that look how it's 68 it's 68 characters long can you believe that well you know what i did i typed that in and i checked it out um later in there he also has shows this particular page Right, restricted. And then that also has a record security hash. And there I zoomed it in. That's pretty hard to do, um, to look at. But you know what I did? I, I tweeted that. I tweeted that from my, from my personal account. So if you go to Twitter, go to at mctoon, M-C-T-O-O-N. That's my personal account. I don't really use it. My The one I use for, for YouTube is mctoon27 because I love Weird Al. 27 is Weird Al's favorite number two. So <clears throat> that's also kind of a long, long one. So if you go there to my Twitter, you'll see, you'll see what I did. Um, so let's go back to just, I pulled that aside. We'll come back to, to what he was saying. Let's see here. And uh, we're going to jump up to um, 351. Yeah, that's that's got that. Now, so this is this is the Huawei document that he he was leaked. Um, there's something suspicious about it. Something very suspicious. Did you did you Chris? Did you look at any of the the things in that particular document and find anything um, of mm -hmm. the technical nature that were uh, that were weird? You want to know his technical opinion? Um, apart from it's all back crap crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's a lot of things in there that that mm -hmm. um, that I'm were quite, definitely quite not right. Quite interested by his um that those encryption and decryption keys. They they seem extraordinarily long for um well pretty much any encryption protocol in the world. They are yeah, so. Yeah. I well, let me, <laughs> could could be. So let me pop up to um, this one here. He later he talks about this. He calls it an I E E E, which nobody nobody who works in the industry calls it I E E E. Everybody calls it I Triple E. Clearly, he doesn't he doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, when it comes to radio frequencies, we're certain that Mark doesn't know what he's talking about. You know how we know that because he told us that. I'm not the main expert in microwave radiation. What I know a lot about, what you talked about before, is light. Right? I'm not an expert in microwave radiation emissions. My expertise is in the terahertz range. Terahertz is just light. So yeah, he's not an expert, uh, and it shows. Anyway, so this particular document uh, talks about meta radar, meta, meta bisturbile. Bisturbile? I, 
it's it's a word um if you look it up it's not even it's not <laughs> <laughs> hey mark it's not a word um so let's go uh, uh let's, even in newcastle it's not a word even in yeah mark's from gateshead or newcastle i don't understand the area so uh, anyway, so he 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 shows this here. He's like the the I'll I'll, uh, I'll play a little bit of his his talking here because it's it's hilarious. Um, sure. When you when when you get the when you get the full context. Right, this is all a part of the document. See, the British Ministry of Defence concluded quite correctly, but such a system could be blended into normal communications infrastructure. Look there, what does it say? What I've been telling you. Ear kill grid. Now this is for the clowns and the donkeys right, who don't know what they're talking about. Who don't know what five G is. Right now, this well, is this pretty terrifying stuff, or is it actually worse? The fact that we're getting these trolls and okay, he doesn't like me. He calls me a troll, um, and it's several other people. Uh, there's actually a group of us together. We've called ourselves. Uh, we we dug up a thing from uh, from back in the uh, the a year and a half ago that I did to Flat Earthers the operation of strategic influence. Uh, so that's what we call ourselves. It's just made up, but uh, we need a name for ourselves. So um, now all of this information is is on on my website, and I'll give you I'll, I'll uh, give you these links in a second here. Um, they're they're they will be off of. Uh, mc2.net slash mark steel but let's listen to a little more of what he has to say and people who embed themselves in organizations trying to persuade the public that i'm not correct he's not is that what's going on because these people need to be outed we know who they are you all know who they are i'll name them i'll name and shame them he's talking about me your children dead <laughs> he's so dumb it's, it's, it's indistinguishable what is claimed to be until the very moment of its activation all right oh dear mark indistinguishable from what it claimed to be so light control management systems gated council you criminal so all right he he doesn't even understand any of this it totally went over his head this particular document um yeah it's not what he thinks <laughs> So, all right, let me, let me just, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to show all the stuff. All right, here is, here is, uh, there's my Twitter and, uh, here's the deal. Those codes are base 64 encoded data, mm -hmm. base 64. It was pretty clear when I saw it. So I'll put into the live chat, the base 64 encoded data from, uh, I'm going to pop back to his video. Let's see here. Uh, let me see. How long has Base sixty four been around, soon? Because I seem to recall using that when I was at uni, and it's been around for ten years since then. It's like it, it's not new stuff, is it? No, no. It's it's no. been around forever. So let's see. All right, on this part of the video right here that you're looking at, he has that Base sixty four code that I put in. So if anybody, you go take that code. You searched your own Base sixty four encoder decoder. Do it yourself. You can look at his video. You can verify that what I pasted is the right stuff. And then you can look and you can go into your own base 64 encoder right there like this. I think some people have figured it out. And then you click decode and look what you get. Mark Steele's own document that he leaked has a special message just to Mark Steele. Oh, I'm trying dear to leave my sunglasses for this. I really am. Yes, it says <laughs> Mark Steele <laughs> is a twat. Who will believe any old naughty naughty? Now, I did not make this document. I don't know who did make this document, but hats off to you, whoever did it. Excellent troll. Mark Steele trolled himself by putting this very thing on his own uh, video. Then. Later, he did this the second one, which I'll put in the chat right now. More. There's more. This is the one I showed you also. I zoomed in. Uh, this is a little shorter. You see that there? Let's oh, the go. Yes. yes. Yes, this is decode there. And we have, oh, it's some naughty words there. I won't repeat. But that's also 
in Mark Steele's own video. Three kind of DVDs, glasses. Good, good job, Mark. That Huawei document was totally fake. Oh. Dear Mark. All right, so if uh, if you people go back to my website, mctune.net slash MarkSteel, I have updated that page to include both the fake yeah. Huawei document and the fake <laughs> IEEE document. Um, have a have a look at your own at your own time. So uh, here here is I'll, I'll reload this. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't save it yet. <clears throat> Mark, Mark was so excited. He saw. He saw this this like this document, and he's like, "That's that's the smoking gun." He's called it the smoking gun several times, um, and it's not. In fact, Mark said in one of his videos that he sent it to his CIA contacts. So now his CIA contacts have documents sent really? from Mark that say this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll go with that. <laughs> Oh dear! You know, Can you imagine you know, the people? The people at CIA are just pissing themselves right now, laughing. Do you know we have a word for this sort of thing in the in the intelligence community? No. What's it's, that? It's called chicken feed. Chicken feed. It's stuff that you you give to agents um, that you want to turn to make it look like they're actually sort of like they're getting usable decent information, and it's stuff that's just bare, barely plausible and makes you think that they've got access and they're. They want oh. to reel them in and compromise them. Then you feed them all the <laughs> really want to send them. <laughs> oh, that's oh, awesome. Yeah, that's... It's the depths of the Cold War. This yeah. It's like... now, now Mark just bought it all, of course. Now, he, here's what happened. <clears throat> um, uh, I don't know who created it, but uh, myself and the other guys in OSI... I'll buy him a beer. Buy him a beer. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 other, so the other guys in OSI, we created... Um, uh, we, we did the research on it, so here it is. Here's the page. Um, we got screenshots. I got uh, of the 64 character. You can copy paste your own, or you can verify it's the same. This is the second one here that has also that same hash. You can copy paste yourself. There it is. Those are the two decoded things. Now that's not it. In that document, there's more things. But here's the deal. That was from a leaked, an actual leaked document from Huawei from 2010, which is a couple years before 5G even existed. Uh, the spec existed um, and he bought it. So you can um, you can actually write on, you, there's this link here. You can, uh, this, is, this is where it was leaked. I found the actual original CHM file. Now CHM is a, uh, is a collection of HTML files often used for Windows documentation. And right there, you can download the original 2010 version of the CHM file that was hand edited to um, to include these special notes to Mark. Now, the, the attack parameters and all that stuff, completely manufactured. Um, and uh, so we did find the version that was sent to Mark Steele. You can also download and view yourself at your own pleasure. Um, leisure, at your own leisure. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, and then there's one more uh, message specifically to Mark. Yeah, this one here on this particular page. Um, look at my website to get it. Here's the base 64 encoded data. And then here it is. The decoded, will Mark Steele believe this crap? Yeah, I bet he will. But now you can see that he's a liar and a fraud. Mark Steele, you're a liar and a fraud. So there it is. <laughs> Many of the pages were, uh, some of the pages, they just had the entire data section put into base 64. Anyway, what's the lesson, Mark Steele, for you? Don't seek confirmation, seek truth. Mark got what he wanted. Confirmation of all the garbage he'd been saying for two years. He didn't confirm anything. He didn't care. It was what he wanted, and therefore, it was true. So there we have that. Now that's not, that's half of it because there's this other one. There is this IEEE document that he's talking about, which we made. It's not IEEE, I mean, it's IEEE. -E -E, well, that's what he calls it because he doesn't have a clue. <laughs> so he calls it IEEE -E -E because he doesn't know anything about radio frequencies. 
if you if you wonder if he knows anything, just ask him. I'm not the main expert in microwave radiation. What I know a lot about, what you talked about before, is light. Right. I'm not an expert in microwave radiation emissions. My expertise is in the terahertz range. <laughs> oh. yep. You know when the that... neighbors stopped using light to communicate? Who? What's that? Do you know when the, the, the Navy used, stopped using light to communicate and went on to more modern things like radio? Um, people can eavesdrop? Um, yeah, but, you know, radio was just easier and went further. And I don't think they yes. used light since, like, ooh, probably the end of the Second World War. Probably, yeah. They had those, uh, I don't know, shutter-based things that yeah, they would do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, more at the moment. <clears throat> So anyway, the, the name of this document, this fake document, is Towards a Model for Bimodal Metabisturbile, an invented word, Defense Matrices, whatever that means. Now, he saw that, could not have understood what it means because it doesn't have any meaning, and still bought it. Um, so this document was actually a group project. Um, you know, we, we do group projects in, our, in OSI. And uh, so I have right here the version of the document that was uh, sent to Mark. So it was printed out. It was kind of crumbled a little bit, put coffee, uh, coffee mug stain on it, uh, stapled and ripped, and then pictures taken with the phone. But the original, if you want to, you know, just search the text, it's right there. Uh, it's hilarious. We put a lot of work into it and put a ton of different Easter eggs, so many Easter eggs in it. Um, but this is, this is my personal favorite one that he put on his own video right here this, these underlines are from mark right the british ministry of defense concluded quite correctly that such a system could blah 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 uh, a kill grid built from non-ionizing civilian operators and then in parentheses large arrays well <clears throat> this was my addition Right there. Let me let me make this a little bigger so you can see here. What does that say? Non-ionizing civilian operators, large arrays. What does that spell out, Mark? That spells out Nikola. Nikola? Nikola. Not sure of the pronunciation. That would be the name of the girl Mark shot in the head in 1993. That's right, Mark. On your own video, you named the girl that you shot in the head in 1993 and went to prison for. Not long enough, in my opinion. <clears throat> so there you go, Mark. Well done. You named, in this document that you thought was a leak, the girl you shot in the head. But that's not the only one. This page has all of the, uh, well, not all, there's too many. It's all just garbage. We invented this stuff, and, and we were sitting there, Chris, remember, you, we were sitting there like, there's no way. These, this is too obvious. If we put kill grid in quotes, because that's what he says constantly. Yeah, what what, I mean, what did we say about that? Um, well, we've got this kill grid um, array. Um, uh, yeah. Do do yeah, I've got to do it right here. Listen, you clowns, it's a kill grid array. <laughs> it's on every lamppost and every street post, and it's going to fry the babies in the head. I could go on, but I just can't bring myself to say oh, it. Oh, I know. <laughs> so... Like, so uh yeah so mark um you did it again you did it twice actually so uh all right let's go back to this here uh yeah he he like underlined it all these things he doesn't understand what they mean uh but guess what base 64 shows up again on the bottom of this document on the footer of one page has this code and uh, it's actually, it's base 64 encoded and then ROT13 both. So you need to, uh, encryption. it double encrypt. Yeah, ROT13, if you don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, ROT13 is just, you just take an A and you add, thir move it along 13 spots, right? So it, Which is uh, not a new cipher. I mean, that was invented by a guy called Julius Caesar. <laughs> yes, it's called the Caesar cipher. Um, so anyway, there it is. Feel free to grab this yourself. Um, and uh, look at it, uh, verify that it is uh, that it does in fact convert to this. So good job again, Mark. You trolled yourself again. And this 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 <laughs> this QR code. A anybody has a, a phone right now? Pull it out. Use your QR code reader. Point it at the screen. 
So I don't need a 5G phone. You don't. You can use any phone. Oh, right. I'll use <laughs> that has one. that has I'm that can read QR codes, <laughs> and uh, see what that says. That that is also the very same base sixty four encoded text. Let, let's just try. So I've got one on here because um, QR so, code. Uh, so if, if I go, what? Uh, yeah, people at home will have to do it. It doesn't really turn up on the screen here, but yeah. that's fine. You can, people at home, go ahead and verify. Mark, go ahead and verify that yourself as well. Um, <clears throat> so it's so now I, I have on this web page here a sampling of the inaccuracies, the Easter eggs and in inaccuracies and invented things in the document. And again, you guys can all download the document and, and, and have a laugh at all of the nonsense that's in it. It's we're like, there's no way he's going to believe this. It's too obvious. Anyway, uh, the, the, so by, by Sturble is actually a, a word that was used in a Chris Morris joke from the 90s TV show Brass Eye. I have not seen it. Um, some of the other people in the group put it together. I have links to that. The first, this is awesome, the first author of the document, Mark, is Dr. Casper Darling from the, our, from the video game Control. The second character author is Dr. Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. And this is my favorite. The third author is Dr. Yukinari Okido from Pokemon. <laughs> Good. Oh, <dear. laughs> so, there it is. Dr. Yes. Um <clears throat> anyway, so there page 1 paragraph 4 based on projections by Fluke and Mulefire, which are names of professors in the book, I don't know, Gorman Host by Mervyn Peake. So, somebody, you know, people have their own uh, their own little uh, uh, things that they put in, right? It was done by a committee. Uh, yeah, so it, th there's many places where we used his own verb verbiage. He likes to say street furniture. It's a street light. I don't know why it's a street furniture. I've never heard that b phrase before. Maybe it's a British thing. Maybe not. Is Chris? Is it British to say street furniture? Yeah, street furniture is. It is okay. Stuff on the street that you don't. So unlike America, we have um, cabs, which are cabinets that are actually mounted on the street itself. So whereas you'd have fiber to the pole, where you'd have, you know, your internet fiber coming to aid pole and there'd be all the decode stuff on the actual pole we actually have a cabinet like um, a big green pillar box um and then we have things like pillar boxes we have pelican crossings for road crossings poles like that and street furniture just all that oh okay. there's a lot of talk about 5g low power 5g being installed in the street furniture uh, um, which so is where he gets this from yeah, so it's yeah. not just street lamps it's street furniture it's cabinets it's telegraph poles, things like that. I see. Okay. So we, we included stuff like, uh, so Mark likes to say that uh, it disrupts biological systems uh, at low frequencies. It can cause flu-like symptoms. None of this is true. Um, yeah, hey, I've got something that does disrupt biological systems, you know. What's that? It's a handgun. Okay. <laughs> You're just saying, you know. Yes. <laughs> not, not a common thing to have in England, as I'm, uh, I think so. Um, another one, metabisturbile square wave based oscillators. I've heard him talk about square wave. I, I don't know where that's. Anyway, um, my stables, but you know. So if you cite uh, there, then at the end of the document, there's six citations. My personal favorite is the one I added. Um, as I said earlier, one of my favorite movies is UHF. Or so one of my favorite people is, is Weird Al. And UHF is the movie he made in 1989. I watch it every year with a friend and we eat Twinkie Wiener sandwiches. The name of Weird Al's character was George Newman. And one of the characters in the movie was um, Raul Hernandez. And he, he tried to teach poodles to fly unsuccessfully in the movie, if you remember that. Anyway, the name of the movie is UHF, which stands for Ultra High Frequency. The citation is... G. Newman, R. Hernandez, Applications of Ultra High Frequency, Resonance in Cavity Magnetrons, New York, New York, Naval Review. Now, here's the thing what Mark did not do. He did not look up any of these citations. <laughs> you wouldn't have found them. They don't exist. Oh. So there you go. Uh, <clears throat> oh, A. Tuttle. A. Tuttle is um, 
from the movie Brazil by Terry Gilliam, one of the Monty Python crew. There's and, another Tuttle that you might not have spotted the reference to there. Yeah? There's a guy called Jerry Tuttle who got very, very upset because he's... um, um No, it wasn't Jerry. It was Tuttle, Oklahoma was the town. And it was someone else who got completely the wrong end of the stick about something. Ah. And uh, he um, he found um, someone had reconfigured his web server and he thought it had been hacked. And what he actually saw was the default Apache web server page. <laughs> I've seen that many times. Well, um, one of the one of the people in OSI said specifically it was from um, from the the movie uh, Brazil, and then uh, Watanabe as uh, the uh, created Godzilla. So there you go. Citations one, two, three, one through three are just made up stuff. Again, if Mark would have searched, he would have found that it's all garbage. So somebody's asking, is, is Mark Steele a flurf or just a regular conspiracy nutter? Um, is there a difference? S Simon, um, Simon Perry, who's been on here, who is, a, who is a flat earther, has said in no uncertain terms that Mark Steele told him in private DMs, this, this is from Simon, that he is a flat earther. Um, S Simon also claims the same from Kate Shema... Shem um, I don't. Shimirami. I don't want Shimirami. I don't want to say it wrong. I'm sorry. I just can't say it. Um, anyway, it's called a toxic nurse. It's easier. That that's common. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that both of them are flat earthers, which which would not surprise me at all. So so there it is, Mark. You have if you're still watching, you have the the link if you want to pop in. I'm probably guessing you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going yes, to. The sunglasses, they're scaring them away. I'll take them. So, oh, I need them to make sure um, that is, uh, that is the presentation. Um, I, I, you know, you have, we have the, the, the good stuff. Anything you'd want to say, being that you were on the committee that helped draft this, this, uh, the second document there. Well, I actually have a practical and experiment to do. Hmm. Yes. Because, you know, Mark's very, very sort of um, enthused about his terahertz waves. Yes. I have a terahertz emitter. A flashlight? No, 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 this is much better than a flashlight. Yes? Uh, an ordinary flashlight is just, you know, a wide spread of beams. Uh, I've got one somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I've got so much stuff on my desk. No, th th this is a laser. Oh, yes. So th this really does act as a beam-forming weapon. Uh, it I does. Just turn it on. Are you ready? Uh, actually, safety first. Yeah, yeah. Safety first. I, oh yes. Hold on. Yes. I'm ready. Why, why did you get the reflective ones? I want the reflective ones. I yeah. I they're <laughs> they were sent to me from NASA. Fair enough. They are NASA color, actually. Admittedly, but so yes. So, so you see how it concentrates the beam. I so, barely. It's these sunglasses are so good. So all right. Well, it's probably a good thing because you know it's a pretty powerful beam. Um, yeah, let's take this off. So, so, so this is a terahertz emitter. It's about um, uh, I don't know what this is. It's about five hundred and thirty-two nanometers because it's green, something like that. Um, and this is a five watt laser, which is about the power of the stuff that's going in the street furniture that Mark's talking about. Yeah. This concentrates all that energy, all that highly destructive, non-ionizing, what was it, non-ionizing civilian array. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so, you know, it's pointing in a safe direction at the moment because it's pointing straight out of the front door into outer space because there's no clouds in the way. There you go. Do you want to see what it does to human tissue? Ultra concentrate into a point about, ooh, the size of a pinhead. I'll show you. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, the pain it goes green. is it <laughs> people are asking some people missed who you were uh they missed the beginning of it chris is uh chris is knowledgeable in these topics um uh people asking yes um i i am a consultant to uk government um specifically naval departments um many big tubes underwater and uh, I, I do electronics i do um, encryption services telecommunications that sort of thing Safety K likes your shirt. 
<clears throat> so now if you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe i love doing this kind of stuff uh and hit the bell notification i am going to be doing i'm not wrapping up right now i just want to take a chance to you know get some subscribers in here um i am doing mark makes lots of claims about this um these street light um wireless control systems and he thinks they're they're weapons they're not it's ridiculous um i'm going to do a detailed um ex uh exploration of his claims about the particular antennas to to really show that when he says he's not an expert he is not an expert i'm not the main expert in microwave radiation what I, i'm not the main expert in microwave radiation what i know a lot about <laughs> what you talked about before is light right i'm not an expert in microwave radiation emissions my expertise is in the terahertz range so um just to also add a little more fun to this, because he did send these documents that include uh, special messages to, to him. He sent them to uh, the CIA. He also has been talking, apparently, to judges in the United States, claiming uh, that he's, he's trying to get people arrested um, for supporting 5G. I think he's... Is he talking about me, you think? So... Uh, good luck with that, Mark. I think the CIA will be laughing, too busy laughing at you to to be uh, able to um, send any, I don't know, anybody knocking on my door. So <clears throat> uh, let's do, let's see here. Um, and there are those people mm -hmm. saying compliments on my beard. So thank you very much. I did do work at it. <laughs> All the 5G makes it grow. It, it does it it stimulates growth uh let's see we've got a couple um a couple things here uh we got a new member laura turquoise laura thank you very much she's been she's been around for a long time uh we've got Ilya for two dollars says if stupid could fly steel would be a jet and then a little heart thank you thank you Ilya. uh hal soy for for five nokias which, which is, uh, you know, Norwegian kroners, but we like to call them Nokias, uh, said this whole stream should count as attempted bodily harm due to oxygen deprivation caused by the maniacal laughter. Holy noodles. Lol. Thank you very much, Hells, Hellsoy. <laughs> and then Cretan Bull for two Canadian says, absolutely brilliant. Well done. So thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> now, um, I'm not done with Mark. Like I said, I'm doing something on uh, the antenna um, coming up. I'm just beginning to put that together. I do have a video coming out. It's recorded, ready to go. You just got to click the thing. Uh, um, coming out next Tuesday, most likely. So be looking for that. It will be on a different channel and my channel, both a very large channel. So... Um... Uh, Anyway, I and did you see anybody? Did you see the Apple iPhone announcement? Um, I'm excited for it. I almost put in an order already, um, but uh, I just wanted to talk with my wife to make sure she wanted one. We're both going to get the new, um, the new 5G iPhone. So looking forward to that. Yeah, just Samsung have had it for over a year. You know, I mean, go with the Android. I, you know, they're they're. I, I don't have any problem. They're they're great phones. Um, they're both they're both great phones. Um, so get get what you like and what you're uh, what you're good with. So uh, don't get five G here. That's the trouble. Yeah, and well, yeah, that is. Um, <clears throat> I have to walk down the road for it. I'm I'm in I'm in the Minneapolis St. Paul area, but uh, they don't have a whole lot of five uh, uh, G outside of the downtown areas yet. But it'll come. It'll come. So. Uh, anyway, any other questions? Uh, there's not a whole lot more to cover here. Um, I wanted this to be nice and short and sweet, and um, I hope to get this. Uh, this particular video, I hope, is is shared a lot because Mark Steele really needs this kind of exposure. So I'm sure if you go and post it on any of his comments anywhere or any of his friends' comments anywhere. He'll, he'll, de he'll delete it because Mark Steele is a huge fan of censorship. He he will delete it immediately. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's 
just check my inbox, see if no messages from him saying well done yet. Well, I'm sure he will. <clears throat> uh, let's see. <laughs> God of tie, tie gaps for five, 5110 Nokia says toads like steel, Ike and A. Jones, Alex Jones, should be isolated on an island with no contact with civilization. I, yes, absolutely. There's a couple others, but uh, yeah, David Ike is, uh, is that his name? Yeah. I like to call him Icky. He, uh, yep, him and Alex Steele. <clears throat> so there you go. He does, uh, the, the real key is he's, Mark doesn't understand. Well, he doesn't understand the technology, but he also doesn't understand power levels. And that's super, super common. So <clears throat> anyway, any other questions before we uh, wrap it up? Chris, anything from you? No, no, I think that's uh, <laughs> nothing. There's anything more left to say, really, is there? <laughs> All right. Uh, somebody's asking: um, Is there a a debate schedule on my website? Um, I do. It's not current. Uh, MC2.net/slash/calendar, um, but I do one. Uh, I try to have one every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Um, and then I'll, I'll try to get a slot at 4 p.m. This central time, 4 p.m. central time, if I have somebody from the UK, because that's 10 p.m. there. Uh, so I either do Flat Earth or 5G most commonly, but uh, really any of the any of the nutters are, are uh, fair game. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much to everybody that, that came along. Be sure to uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down and then tell me all about why you didn't like it in the comments or why you did like it. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and uh, click the bell so that when I do debates, you get a notification. So that is, that is it. And uh, thank you to everybody. Thanks a lot, Mark Steele, for the endless entertainment. Um, Maybe we can we can hand you send you back to the big house soon. All right. Bye. Mr. Bozohead, Mr. Bozohead, I can give you for three three pounds thirty three pence, hail Santa. <laughs>